don't have to let money come between us. No, no, they not even capable to feel us. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we just take the stacks and go to pizza? Yeah, yeah. That way you could lean away with all the people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Poppin' T Squad. Guys, we're on our way to the hospital. All of a sudden my contractions started coming really close together um, the timing is a little bit more consistent not as consistent as they want it but my midwife said Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, that's intense. All of a sudden, like, you can't talk to them or nothing. So that's how we know it's getting pretty Yeah. Smooth. So, um, the midwife said to meet her at the hospital for 4.30. In the meantime, after I talked to her, the doula came over. And she's just been helping me throw some contractions, which has been really helpful because she's amazing at what she does. But, yeah, we're on our way to the hospital now. Uh, it's 4-12, November 19th, and hopefully they don't send us home. Right? So. By the way it's progressing, I don't think they will, but we'll see. Yeah, they're going to monitor the baby for 20 minutes and then also see where things are at. You ready to have this baby? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Alright, you guys, so we made it to the hospital. Walking in right now. So they got Keisha all hooked up, doing some tests on the baby, make sure everything's okay. Got a button. You got a button to press? Yeah. What, when I bother you? Ah, uh, for that. <laughs> How do you feel though? The baby moves. I feel good. Yeah. Things have slowed down a little bit, but mm -hmm. it's okay. As soon as I get up, it should be good. Right, we need those contractions back. All right, you guys, so we are now walking around. <clears throat> She's dilated a little bit, baby is good. They were monitoring everything for a good hour. Contractions are still coming. So we are now walking, trying to let gravity pretty much do its thing and speed up this process. Doing all right, babe? Yeah, yeah. good so far. As soon as the contractions hit though, she's like, she can't talk. So making progress, guys. Contractions are definitely getting more intense, way more intense actually, which is good. We found a little a seat, a wheelchair for her to get some rest on while we're walking. She's currently having a, contra a contraction right now, guys. I think we're definitely making progress for sure. We have to point out Keisha's shirt selection for the delivery by Felicia. That's what you're trying to say to the baby, Keish? No. Eviction notice? <laughs> Major, major update you guys. We are now in our private room where we're gonna be having the baby. Super quick room tour, hospital room, room tour. Got the little baby area, the bed, monitoring system. Got a tub over here. Exercise balls that she can bounce on. Chairs. And the contractions are coming quick now you guys. Like literally every minute way more intense now too all right you guys as you can see we dim the lights kish is now on the bouncing ball trying to literally bounce this baby out contractions are back strong again how you feeling babe cold she's very cold she's shivering but it's more so just her natural body reaction we think
you guys, things are not quite going as planned, but everything's still okay. Basically, she has to get an epidural, which is like a needle in her back, and then they're gonna have to induce her into further labor because all the contractions that she's having, she's not progressing, you guys. She is not dilating. So we're gonna basically be doing something that's gonna help make the contractions stronger, faster, more intense. Keisha also did not wanna have an epidural. But you know what, guys, we're staying positive. Um, I'm in the washroom right now because I don't wanna vlog her right now. She's exhausted. Keisha has been in labor right now for I lost count of the hours, but her water broke like 27 hours ago. She's been having contractions for probably, almost probably that whole time. So she is exhausted, she needs to sleep. She needs to recoup a bit of energy. So she's gonna get the epidural, she's gonna hopefully get some sleep. And then when the oxytocin, which is the drug she's gonna be taking, when that kicks in, hopefully she's gonna be ready to push you guys. But. Um, yeah, so this is the update. It's not what we wanted, but we're staying positive. We're still very confident everything is gonna go smooth. So, we'll let y'all know the next step. Hey, Dad. What's up? So, guys, epidural went, <clears throat> went good. It was very, very long. Like, it took like half an hour, and the, um, Whatever you call what she called anesthesiologist. Mm -hmm. The anesthesiologist was saying that Keisha's back was so naturally strong that it was really hard to get in the spot. But long story short, the epidural uh, worked. Everything went well. She's now resting. Um, legs are numb. Uh, it just started up there. The oxytocin. So basically, guys, now it's time for Keisha to sleep and get some well-needed rest. She's been up for like. I want to say like 40 plus hours now. Mm -hmm. No? Not that long? Like 30. Like 30 hours? Mm -hmm. She's been up for like 30 hours plus. Plus everything that's going on. Clearly exhausting. But she is doing so well guys. I'm so proud of her already. So yeah, now we're just going to get some rest. I actually have a little couch over there. A little chair that folds out. I'm going to sleep over there as soon as Keisha's asleep. Hopefully we just wake up when she's ready to push. But. Even if that's not the case, even if she's woken up by some contractions and she has to push for a little while, whatever happens, as long as she's healthy, baby's healthy, we're gonna be good, I know that for sure. She's doing amazing, guys. <sighs> How do you feel, babe? I don't wanna bother you. She's like falling asleep, but you feel okay though? Yeah, I was shivering for quite a long time. Yeah. So I think now that I'm done shivering, Mm -hmm. I can actually get some sleep, but it's so exhausting to yeah. shivering for so long. Push, 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 push. Oh, oh, oh. We did it. <laughs> 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 Good job, Keisha. 
Okay, let's put the baby up on your stomach. Yeah, we just need support for this.